Hello friends, welcome back to our episode 3 on chatbot building journey and in this episode we are going to integrate our SAP chatbot which is basically a travel bot we have created in episode 2 and in this episode we are going to integrate that particular chatbot with our UI5 application. Probably I'll recommend and request you to take a look or maybe all the way from episode 1 where we created our Node.js application and we you know extracted the data of our travel details against our travel ID all the way from our RESTful Lab programming model and in episode 2 we created basically our chatbot uh, the bot currently you are seeing is basically been built in episode 2 we created my travel bot and using this chatbot we are able to access the travel details if we enter a travel ID if I just let, let's say I'm just entering find my travel details for 100 so it is saying like do you want to track the travel ID 100 so some sort of a you know conversations we have established in episode 2 so if I click on uh, yes it hits that wrap service model using the node.js and it successfully fetches the you know travel details from the restful above that we have built now this particular chatbot i'm you know interested to integrate with our ui5 application let's head over to our technical discussions now now this is our application ui5 application we created step by step and let's first run this application and see what uh, this application how this application looks and what it does it's listening on port uh, 5000 so let's head over to our browser we can port localhost 5000 and i'm expecting my uf application should be working fine yes it's coming up so you see this application running on localhost and port but the data points actually fetching all the way from our cloud restful app service and this application i'm thinking about to integrate our chatbot so now let's head over to our uh, ci console once more so you see this is something called an option called connect tab and you have different options available we have sap conversational ai web client we have web chat there are certain possibilities with third-party integrations like Alexa, Line, Messenger, Cortana, Slack, etc. Ample possibilities with Twitter and Twilio, everything uh, integrations are there. But in this episode, we will be focusing more on the web chat only. So let's click on that. It comes up with a pop-up now. So in this pop-up, you have a lot of different options as you can see color scheme uh, like how your chatbot will appear you can change the color if you want I just like to see this color probably certain header conformations you can change the header title let's say travel bot uh, message setting you can change if something you want maybe welcome note I can write uh, welcome back enter travel ID to start let's say some welcome note I just want to write like this way call to action customizations uh, that's okay global settings you can check certain things uh, keep chat window open on web page or maybe we can change it to never okay and you can just keep this one 12 hours it will be you know conversations will be saved or you can just not saved that is also okay it will be freshed uh, you can you can keep it like that and just click on create what will happen it will give you a script options with certain source channel id token uh, and the id details so this is uh, basically a confidential one for this particular bot only 
so that's the reason i'll be deleting this uh, you know web channel once my recording is over so it is just for the demonstration purpose don't use this channel id and token id because it will not work for you if you are trying to do so so click on the save changes and i'm done with the web chat script generation site so this particular script will be using now in our uff application so let's head over to our uff application and you are in component.js and the init functions there we just need to call a new function called this dot render travel bot and of course this function is not yet available we need to create it let's create this function so what i'm trying to do let's start with an if condition let find document dot get element by id and we'll check this id called cai web chat we'll just first see whether this id does exist or not so if it doesn't exist put an exclamation then we'll just create variable s is equal to document dot uh, maybe something called create create element and we'll create something called script okay we are going to add a script because you see this is the script provided we have to dynamically add all the attributes now is dot set attribute will be adding something called id and source so id we can add from here ci web chat that is the id and you can set attribute we'll be adding something called source now and source will be this cdn content delivery network this part particular source js file web chat so that's you can add it um that's all but yeah now we have to just we added created this element and we have to add this element to our document dot body dot you know uh, append append child and we can add this script over there so once if it is not there then we can create it and if it is already available then we can just add a start a set attribute at this time we are going to add channel id mm, what that id should be as generated over here i'm just copying this channel id paste it and also set dot uh, set attribute we have to add something called token so here the token we have already generated so copy this one and paste it that's all so that's pretty tiny small code that you have created and uh, this is supposed to you know integrate our chatbot with our uf application let's see so now let's run this application called npm start and it's listening on port 5000 so let's head over to browser so now let's enter 5000 and i'm expecting my application should run fine it may ask for a login in case first time yeah it is okay voila you see now the chatbot is actually integrated fantastic so click on that and it's also saying welcome back enter travel id to start so let's say we can enter track my sorry track uh, my travel id 200 do you want to track the travel id 200 yes i want to and i'm supposed to see excellent all the 200 travel ids are coming up perfectly so let's search for travel id 5 see if let's go to 5 we are supposed to see those kind of details in our response 
let's say click on 5 only do you want to track travel id 5 i say yes and i should see all the details customer id here 225 18 july and all the booking fees total price duration zero fantastic so all the travel related these details uh, now i'm able to fetch directly from our uf web application so one thing you have to be uh, careful like this node.js application what we have already deployed to our sap cloud platform that you can see how we did it in episode 2 so make sure this application is actually up and running it should be in started status so for the trial application or trial account sap generally stops this you know application if it's not being used continuously so make sure you uh, your uh, you know apple node.js application is up and running or maybe in the started condition uh, otherwise you know this uh, informations you won't be able to get all the way from your travel bot thanks for watching i hope this uh, discussion was informative to you and by the way this is the end of the year 2020 where most of the time we are just locked at home i hope that 2021 or new year should bring a lot of happiness and prosperous to our life and will definitely able to compensate with a lot of travels and a lot of funds uh, so thanks for supporting my channel if you like my work hit the subscribe button and don't forget to set the bell icon because it will intimate you the moment i share a new content in my channel so we'll again come back with a new topic in a new year so enjoy 2021 and stay safe goodbye